Hi guys, my name is Gerda here. Welcome to my channel. One of you guys asked me to do a high and low uh, uh, skirt pattern and I also uh, uh, sewed it. So this is it. So stay tuned. The high and low uh, skirt is the front is shorter than the back. Okay, so uh, stay tuned. And uh, I did the pattern. I made the pattern a couple of weeks ago. I'm going to leave you the link down below and this video is the sewing part of putting all the pieces together and sew the skirt, okay? To start cutting my high and low skirt, I'm going to need, number one, I'm going to need the pattern pieces. This, this is the front pattern. This is the back piece of the pattern, and as you can see, the front is higher on the front than the back. See, see, I want to put it this way. Um, the side seams are the same length, but the bottom of the back is longer. That's why they put it high and low. And my pattern, my skirt is going to have a center zipper, so I added uh, an extra half an inch. On the center back for my uh, zipper and I have all my notches this is uh, the two notches represent the center back for the zipper length and um, this these are the similar notches and also very important you also need your hip line notches those two notches they both match the front and the back so when you're sewing it those two not those uh, notches will match now my my fabric is about 60 inches wide so I fold it in half and this is the fold line this is where I'm going to place the front of the skirt because the front of the skirt is unfold the back piece the back skirt I'm going to place it it's one piece even though I made two patterns but I'm, on, I'm only using one because the fabric is plain and this is the grid line of the fabric which is parallel to the fabric and I'm going to place it on the fold I mean not on the fold on the the open side which is two pieces and this the skirt that I'm making is it doesn't have a waistband I'll show you guys an example it's a facing uh, uh, waistline see no waistband just a facing so I'm going to put it aside so this is the front facing this is the front facing it's one one piece and there's a notch the center notch that also matches the center notch of the front and this is the back facing of the skirt. I have two pattern, two pattern pieces. But I'm only going to be using one, one piece. And this section over here, I'm going to place my facing because it's small. It's a small piece. And I'm also going to place my, my center back, my uh, center facing. Another thing that I really want you guys to uh, uh, notice, it has the red writing, which is interfacing. Interfacing is when you actually use interfacing, which is like a uh, uh, press on. There's a rough edge and there's a smooth edge. The rough edge is going to be against the wrong side of the fabric to give the waistline, to, to give it a, a body you put it on the uh, facing and on on facings and uh, also on 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 collars and uh, waistband wherever it you it needs to be so i'm gonna well, i love to uh save some fabric so i'm gonna place it as much as high as I can so that I can place any extra inch is, is good to save because sometimes 
you may be cutting something and then you're missing an inch from the fabric because you place your pattern pieces too far apart so this is not this is a two-piece uh, pattern so I'm not gonna place it on the fold I'm just gonna I'm gonna place it away from the fold and pin it doesn't have to be a lot of pins you just put maybe three or four or on this is a small piece so I'm just gonna put a, uh, at this corner at the bottom so that was a pattern stays flat now this is the back remember the my fabric is on fold so I'm going to place it very close to the edge and make sure both pieces of the fabric are aligned because you don't want to cut something and then the bottom fabric is not enough okay so I'm going to lay so now I have to move my pattern as you go along just move your pattern now I can actually use the front in any direction because my my fabric is plain it doesn't have any uh, pattern as far as picture uh, um, as far as patterns uh, uh, designs are concerned so it's plain so I can put I can use my front either or either way so now for me to say so if I place it like this I'm kind of lose a little bit of this fabric which is not much but to me it's important so what I'll do I'll use it this way that way it's very close to the back like I said anytime you can save a little bit of fabric do so because it's important fabric nowadays are very expensive and then every corner I'm going to place pin definitely going to need but make sure you have your pins around you close to you and you have your, your fabric scissors that's important and i'm going to place one at the bottom of the pattern and i'll place one at the center of the pattern okay and the front it has to be on the fold of the fabric and i'll just pin it around one pin each corner and I'll just put one in the middle that way it stays and try to have some weights some of them are round some of them are long I have different shapes and you can even use a book okay I need to move this just a little bit you can use a book make sure it's right the edge is right on the fold okay there you go see i have everything all my pattern pieces are pinned up on the fabric and i'm ready to cut i may need an extra pin to lay the uh, pattern flat and i i'm going to remove this because it's going to be too heavy for me to lift the fabric I'll just put everything aside and keep everything away and this is a cutter's moss where I lay I write all the pieces that I need to cut the one in red this is the interfacing where it says and I'm gonna do a, a different video on cutter's moss and then you actually do like a, uh, a technical sketch of the actual uh, garment whether it's a skirt or dress you just have to uh so whoever's cutting it they have to know they see the style and the design another good thing you need to know because the next time you're going to cut the skirt you know exactly what how much fabric you need so i'm going to um do like an inch and a half away from the edge so I, and then i'm going to go let's see this is the end so i'm going to add an extra inch or an inch and a half go all the way so from here and I'm going to use like a measuring tape and I'm going to go all the way so it's 54 inches long based on a 60 inch width of fabric so if it's 45 
it might take it's not might it will definitely take more fabric for for a 60 inch wide of fabric i need 54 inches long for me to cut the skirt and what you do you're gonna write it down somewhere uh, on paper uh, for now but you also you're gonna need it you're gonna write it down on the on the cutters nose, which will go over that and there's a pattern there's a video on the pattern on the uh, high and low skirt pattern that I did a couple of weeks ago so I'm gonna uh, write the link below so you guys can watch how I made how I drafted the skirt pattern the high and low skirt pattern okay okay I'm ready to cut it's always good to make sure it's lining up correctly uh, so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna re remove all the pins and just kind of sh be shift the paper the paper pattern on the fabric to make sure it's nice and straight okay that's important then it's okay take your time don't rush it that's why I don't try not to do anything too fast because once you cut that's it now I'm going to start the cutting and place your hand on the pattern and then just kind of cut all the way around and I can stop right there then I can actually go straight and when you cut, try not to cut your pattern. You don't want to do it. Just follow the line. Okay. And I'm going to cut the waist. I just cut one piece. Just to show you guys how to cut it. Now, I need to place another um, pin right on this side cut and keep your hands on the fabric that it doesn't move too much when I get to the edge what I can do since I'm not going to need this excess of fabric I can always cut that way it gets I can move the uh, I can move everything closer to me and then I'll continue cutting the rest okay so this is my back so I'm done with my back and I'll just take it, hold it. I'll just place it somewhere on the table. And then I'm I'm gonna cut the the front and the back facing. And once I'm done cutting the front and the back facing, I'm also gonna use the same pattern. Interfacing comes in black, in white, I have it in white, I have it in black since I'm cutting black fabric. So I'm going to use the black interfacing. So this interfacing, I'm going to cut the same pieces with the interfacing and I'm, and I'm going to press, I'm going to use my iron and I'm going to press the interfacing to the wrong side of the facing so that way everything sticks together. Okay? Now this is, I'm done cutting the skirt. This is the, the front, this is the back this is the front facing as you can see um the interfacing that i was telling you about earlier so i went ahead and ironed it on the wrong side of the fabric and i ironed one piece for the front and then two pieces for the back see this is the residue of see it's rough on one side and soft on the other so the rough side like i said earlier goes on the wrong side of the fabric now I'm ready to sew. To start the sewing, 
I went ahead and um, searched or mirror all my seam allowance uh, edges with you know on my mail machine and this notch is my notch I'm going to start with the back since I'm going to be putting an invisible zipper an invisible zipper is the one where it's hidden once the dress or the skirt is uh, finished so this is what I'm going to do right now take the zipper this is like a seven inch uh, length zipper. So this is my seam allowance, which is half an inch. I'm gonna place the zipper right on my seam allowance. And I already have my attachment. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, attachment. And I think they have those type of attachments for uh, home sewing or portable sewing machines. This is the one. It has two grooves, so this is where the zipper will be placed in order for the zipper to look very good. So what I do, I'm going to sort of like open the teeth of the zipper and I'm going to start sewing. Place it on the first groove because I'm doing the left side of uh, the skirt. Make sure you turn on your machine. I live in a corner house, so you guys are gonna be hearing some noises. And some there's some crazy drivers around here. Okay, so I'm going as I'm sewing, I'm using my left uh, fingers and I'm going to um, kind of open the sewing. And keep the zipper straight okay once I get to the edge I'm going to use my hand to pedal a little bit so I don't want to go on top or I don't want my needle to, to break and I'm going to back stitch and remove it There you go. It's very close. Hope you guys can see it. Well, wait, 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 wait. With this light, you won't be able to see it. Okay, this is it. It's 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 a black fabric. So now I'm going to do the other one. I'm not going to use uh, my uh, the light. I think it's, it's kind of it makes it a little bit darker so I'm going to use the right side of the, of the skirt and I'm going to place the zipper turn it and place it I kind of left maybe like a an eighth of an inch from the top and looking for my notch this is my notch and I'm going to place it I'll pin it that way it stays in place okay once again I'm, this time i'm going to place the zipper on the the right side the right groove okay and here we go and the same procedure i'm going to make sure your thread is long enough that way your needle doesn't uh, get on thread and I'm going to see keep it straight my seam allowance is half an inch but the zipper is less than half an inch so you might see as I'm sewing I'm opening up the teeth the corner of the zipper see keep it straight again okay 
here we go. Now I have my invisible zipper and I'm going to close the zipper. Here you go, see? It's nice and clean. Bingo. There you go. Hopefully you can see it. Alright, so now I need to close the center back. Place both pieces together. And I'm going to start from the, the hemline. It's always good to cut excess of threads. And of course, I'm going to remove my zipper foot because I'm not going to use it anymore then I'm going to use another zipper foot which is the left side see it has only it doesn't have to two glue this is the one that I'm going to be using that way it goes it's I don't have to have problems now all the other machines have it, you just have to look for it. And if you want to use your regular uh, uh, <coughs> presser foot, you're okay to use it. But since I have this one, remember my half, my steam allowances have it. Okay, make sure everything is lined up. your fingers and and then then I'm gonna back sit just to close it and turn it around and here you go okay once I iron I'm gonna iron it and it should be good I'm gonna iron it Okay, I went ahead and ironed the seams, the back, the back seam, the seam flat open. Okay, this is it. This is the zipper, and iron the uh, the right side also, and it's looking good. Now, what I'm gonna do? I'm going to take the back and connect it to the front. This is the front. This is the back. So seam allowance to seam allowance. Going okay from the side seam. I'm gonna connect the side seams. Remember my seam allowance is half an inch. The back and the front they should be the same length. Like I said earlier, turned off all the um, I'm sorry, cut out all the excess. And I'm just going to show you guys one side. Seam allowance, connect all my pieces. And here we go. Cut the side, um, sew the side seams. Place, okay. Using my regular presser foot. Remember my half, my seam allowance is half an inch, so I'm going to make sure I'm following the guide on my both plate on my sewing machine and so make sure when you're sewing all the ends both of them match and run. when I get to the hemline back stitch and here we go I'm going to do the other side very quickly. I 
some allowance again and it's half an inch. And everything needs to match all the length on both sides. I'm cutting the excess of the fabric and make sure you look and So the uh, side seam, nice and neat. Okay, the side seam. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the hemline, and I'm just gonna turn it a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch, and I'm gonna go all around, a quarter of an inch. Since I've already um, surged or marrow the edge the hems if you don't have a marrow machine at home you can actually fold it once and fold it again so that way the raw edge doesn't show but since I use my marrow machine I don't have to turn it twice I'm only turning it once and I'm just going to give it a quarter of an inch seam allowance follow keep your eyes on it and follow the guidelines where it says quarter so that way the whole all around the skirt is going to be a quarter of an inch and once I'm done with the, with the hem I'm going to iron it and make it flat now I'm done with the, the side seams and and I went also and ironed the side seam um, the seams are flat okay so I'm gonna this is the moment right now I'm going to place my facing on the waistband the waistband facing this is an example I've already done earlier you see it and then I'm gonna edge stitch uh, uh, the top. I'm gonna put this aside. And first I'm going to sew the side seams on my facing. Remember my seam allowance is half an inch. Back stitch whenever you start sewing. And at the end of it, back stitch again. Okay. Gonna do the same thing for this side, half an inch. Okay. This is it. So I can actually iron. I'm not gonna get up right now, I'm just going to finger press it. See? make it flat see it's flat okay now this is the right side of the fabric this is the wrong side so I'm going to place my skirt is in, in is inside out so right side right side right side and I'm going to connect the seam allowance by opening my seam just like I have it on my uh, on the skirt pin it down and remember we had uh, a center notch so it's good to follow the notch I don't think I did it yeah it is there but I'll, I'll just snip it again So I think I forgot to do it on the skirt when I was cutting it. It's very important you do all your notches. Okay, so now notch, notch, 
collect your notches okay and pin it okay and plus my side seams make sure everything is matching up same thing here so what I'll do I'll open it this is going to be this is my uh, the zipper so I'm folding the um, the seam allowance on the inside and I'm just going to fold the seam allowance of the facing also on the inside pin it okay. and I'm gonna sew my seam allowance is half an inch and I'm also gonna do the same thing for the other side make sure before you start sewing make sure everything is lining up once again I'm going to do the same thing here fold it pin everything you don't have to do a whole lot uh, a whole lot of pins okay there you go I'll just add one here just to control the fabric I mean the two pieces okay there you go and my seam allowance for the waistline is half an inch so I'm going to do half an inch so half an inch and I'm going to go see as I don't like to sew on top of pins so what I do when I get closer to one of these um, babies I call them babies I remove them and still in place and make sure all the things are lining up and you just saw the whole thing happening similar okay my the facing the skirt facing is sewn on the skirt and make sure all your uh, seams are matching up the facing the side seams they all matching up they all match with the with the side seam of the skirt so now what I, and I also went and ironed um, the waistline by having the seam allowance facing the end of the, the facing uh, uh, of the skirt okay so it's it's on top so when, right now I'm going to do an edge stitch so I'm going to need the seam allowance to be on the same side of the facing to give it a good uh, uh, uh. so okay so now I'm edge stitch is when edge uh, stitching is when you actually sew very close very close to the uh, to the edge of the fabric that way it folds better I could just leave it like that but it by having the edge stitch is going to fall in place and you'll see what I'm talking about when I'm done with it so I'm going to hold my thread because I don't want my needle to be to get on credit and back stitch every time anytime you start sewing you need to back stitch see I'm holding See, I'm making sure the seam allowance is facing the same direction as my feet. The skirt is doing very close, like an eighth of an inch away from the actual stitch. Okay, and I'm going to follow and filling the um, the seam allowance is on the same side as the facing and I'm going to continue I may later on do an edge stitch um, on a 
brighter fabric. I just chose this um, black fabric. I wanted this skirt and I'm like, okay, let me just use this black fabric. And as you can see, it's very close to the edge, very close. do I can actually what I like to do is um, get a hand sewing needle and stitch and actually connect this to the side or just give it a I'll use a sewing needle and just tack it on this side or I can actually go like this and sew it and sew it on the sewing machine all the way around you can do that now this is it see of course you're gonna have to iron it just to keep it flat you see this is it this is it nice and finished all right Okay, I hope you guys had fun and if you guys have any questions, don't forget to write them below.